the skull. First, we'll crochet the head. Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your little finger. And then bring it up to the next finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a magic ring, make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn with thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on middle finger. Yarn over the hook and put up a loop. A magic ring is formed on the middle finger. In round one, put one chain stitch, six single crochets, and one slip stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of digits. Then one six single crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn over the hook and put up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook. Then yarn over the hook. And pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. Place the marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop through the ring. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. Then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. The third single crochet is done. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. Six V shapes on the side, then for six single crochets. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the other loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch serve a connection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with the chain stitch and then what 6 increases, finally end with 1 slip stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then what 6 increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. First, put one single crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet. There were one more single crochet in the same stitch. Continue to work 5 more increases in the same way. We need to work 2 single crochets in each stitch.
Six increases are done. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch is the connection. It is now counted into the number of stitches. Round 2 is done. In round 3, start with one chain stitch. And then work a sack up, one single shape, one increase for 6 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. We'll one chain stitch first. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. We'll one single crochet in the first stitch. Mark the first single crochet. In the next stitch, we'll one increase, which means we can two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet and one increase are finished. One set is done. Keep working five more set. The second set, put one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, put one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The third set, put one single crochet in the next stitch. In the next stitch, we'll one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The fourth set, we'll one single crochet and one increase. The fifth set, put one single crochet and one increase. The sixth set, put one single crochet and one increase. Six set are done. Remove the marker and move one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round three is done.